And an Oklahoma teenager is speaking out this evening about a high school homecoming parade float she says was deeply offensive to Native Americans. News on 6 or Sawyer Bussey is on the story for us, new at 5. It was the last thing 18-year-old Maddie Lamb expected to see when scrolling through her Snapchat. And it was a bunch of girls inside of a cage on a homecoming float dressed in cheap feathers and some bright colored paint and French shirts and they were doing a war call and saying cage the Indians. Lamb is Creek and Mojave and says the pictures were deeply offensive. Our native ancestors were actually caged, raped and killed and murdered and tortured and, and it was women, children and elders. When Lamb reached out to the girls on Snapchat voicing her concern, she says she was blocked, so she went to Facebook. As a Native American, you know, we, we see a lot of things like that, but it really is a big deal, especially to us, because we're still here and we're real people and being mocked, you know, with silly costumes is not okay. Lamb's post has been shared more than 2,000 times. She hopes it will help educate her peers about racial and cultural insensitivity. The main goal of this is to get people to stop. Fort Gibson Schools released a statement saying with almost 50% of our students being Native American, we are sensitive to the culture and strive to respect all people. There was never an intent to be disrespectful or offend anyone. However, it will be used as an educational opportunity that will be coordinated through our Native American culture teachers and staff. I spoke with the father of one of the girls in the picture. He tells me his daughter is now getting death threats because of the post and says the situation is simply being taken out of context. Sawyer Bessie, News on 6.